Hello. Today's topic, the first of I hope many, um, is called the new normal. And to talk about that and to explain what on earth I'm talking about, I've got some vocabulary here now. I apologize, it's very low tech at the moment. I don't have time to mess with um, uh, fancy computer graphics yet. So I've got this little cheap whiteboard from the 100 yen shop. Now here's the vocabulary words for today you need to understand. Uh, what I'm going to talk about. First one we've got here, uncertainty. Well, the opposite is certain when you're sure. Uncertainty is you you just don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty now because of coronavirus. We don't know what will happen, right? Improbable. If you know the word probably, probably, well, it's like, um, hmm, maybe it's 50-50, probably 80%. Improbable means probably not. <laughs> so like only only a 5% chance. Uncertainty is we don't, just don't know. Improbable, oh no, that won't happen. Coping means living with. If you, if you have something difficult, you have to cope. Mm, um, when times are difficult, you know, maybe you want to have a nice easy life but you can't then you have to cope you have to get used to a new way of thinking okay resisting is fighting so i don't like it and finally accepting means allowing something to happen um changing and saying okay that's life mm, okay I'm, I'm moving on so you can see these are the words that uh, are useful if we're going to talk about uh, life with coronavirus. Before I get on with that, I wanted to this whole topic. Um, I was trying to think, about, you know, about coronavirus, and you know, in the future. I mean, right now we don't know how how bad things are going to get and and what will change. Um, looking at it around the world, I mean, Japan is uh, not just just starting to realise how important the coronavirus is. So the lockdown is expected today. Abe, the Prime Minister, is going to give a speech tonight. But looking around, you can see what's happening. Um, Britain's very, very bad at the moment. Many uh, hundreds of people dying every day. China has gone through it in Wuhan. Maybe they're getting better. There's a lot of uncertainty, right? But um, this is an, I mean, coronavirus is such an improbable event. It's very hard to understand. Um, and we have to cope with the, all the difficulties that are happening. Some people are resisting change and just want to keep continuing like everything is normal. Oh, I'll just go to school. I'll just do things. But actually, the government and now, well, soon people are going to have to accept that, well, that there's a new normal. Wow. Difficult concept, isn't it? Um, uh, to, add, to add to this, um, I thought about three books that have helped me. And I just wanted to talk, talk a little bit about them. Um, <laughs> the first one is The Black Swan by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. And here's basically this very complicated English book. Ugh. But basically, uh, here's the dude here. Here he is. Basically, his point is um, the world is changed by big events. And that you think life is normal. And for most of the time, probably for, in your life, 90% of your life, you do the same thing. You get up, you go to school, you go to work, and you continue, and there's no change. But suddenly, there's this the 1% chance, some an improbable chance, and everything changes enormously. And oh, well, you'd say, oh, oh, of course. But, you know, when that when something big happens and changes, there's a lot of resistance because you say, well, he's called the black swan. That's a swan, a black swan. Because, you know, you say, well, swans are white. Swans are white, yeah. Yeah, swans are always white because every time I see a swan, it's white. But there are such things as black swans. They're very rare. But when that happens, everything changes. And that's what coronavirus is. And if you think about it in history, there are many times when something big has, has happened. People said it was not possible. It's not possible. When the Great Depression happened in 1933, before that happened, oh, sorry, the, the stock market crash, 1929, before that People said, oh, no, we're going to keep making more money. Everything's going to be fine. When suddenly, boom, everything changed. 2001, everything changed when the, the, the Twin Towers in New York collapsed. Um, 
everybody thought that, that the Cold War would continue forever, uh, Russia against America. And then uh, was it 1989, the Berlin Wall came down and everything changed. Those are black swan events, according to him. And we have to accept that sometimes enormous changes happen. We don't want them to. We want them to go back to the old normal, but there's a new normal. And it happens because of improbable, crazy events like coronavirus, maybe. That's that's one. Okay, that's I've got three books. That's the first one. It's kind of a bit hard to read. This one's easy to understand. And the English is much easier, and it's in the Tower English, um, I can say bookshop, not bookshop, library. Who Moved My Cheese? And it's a business book. And it basically, it's... It's imagining uh, uh, some mice in a maze. A maze, you know, um, where you get, you're hiding and like, scientists have got some mice. And what they do is they put cheese in some place. Every day they put cheese in the same place and there's lots of cheese. And the mice go and get it and they eat and they get fat and they like life. But one day they take the cheese away, the scientists do. And the only way to survive is to look for new cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the point is some people don't want to look for new cheese and they'd still go to the same place and they, well there's always cheese here why is it not here and they go to the same place other people realize quickly there's no cheese here we have to go look find cheese somewhere else and they're the successful ones in other words sometimes you don't want to change but you have to uh, and that's kind of the theme um Okay, so that's that one. Far more enjoyable to me was this really good book called The Years of Rice and Salt by Kim Stanley Robinson. It's a kind of speculative fiction, which means imaginary fiction. He's imagining the, the, um, that the Black Death, it's called, in, the, um, in Europe there was a big disease and, and I think 30% of people died. This is true, it really happened. Uh, when was that 1300 or something about 700 years ago 800 years ago and 30 percent of people died in europe and uh, and then they recovered he's imagining what if everybody died in europe and the world history changed completely and so china became much stronger much quickly more quickly and where else japan japan invaded america um uh, or, or Japanese culture spread into America and so he's imagining a completely different uh, history for humanity based on just one event changing like well what if Europe wasn't the, uh, the powerful uh, continent you know then we wouldn't all be speaking English we'd all be speaking Chinese or or maybe Japanese would be the world language not English <laughs> bad for me but maybe good for you okay so I'm talking too much. Let me give you three questions to consider and we'll talk about next time I see you. Number one, how has coronavirus changed your life so far? Okay. Number two, do you think things will go back to normal like it used to be last month or uh, at the moment before coronavirus? Do you think life will get back to normal? Number three, is there anything good about this coronavirus and what it's done to the world? Is the, are any of the changes good? It's hard to imagine, but there you are. Okay, so those are the three questions I want you to consider, and we'll chat about them next time. Okay, thanks for uh, listening to me. See you soon.